I thought I would make a quick video for those who might be having some issues with printing. Let's say that you had a file that was printing really, really well, then all of a sudden something happened and from one of your G codes it works really well and then to another G code it just doesn't want to print well. Or, you know, let's say that for some reason it's printing really clean in one of your settings and you want to find out and you want to fine tune your printer better and you want to figure out how or why things are going what they are and you just want to learn some of your settings better, this is a great way to do it, okay? So this is a file that I made completely in Prusa Slicer from beforehand, so I just have it here, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open another instance of Prusa Slicer, okay? So I'm gonna open this one. So I'm having one next to another. So you'll see that there are no print settings here currently, okay? So I'm going to download and I'm gonna download the G code right here, okay? And I'm not actually looking to load the actual alpaca. I just want to show that I can take the G code from something that I never even had on my computer before and apply it to a print that I currently have. And you can use anything. You could use, I could have taken the settings from this one, applied it to here. Um, so this is just a really handful thing. Or let's say I have, a, I have really good settings on this print and I want to be able to apply it to future prints and I want to save these settings. This is a good way to do it too. So. Let's see. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So what you're going to want to do now is you're going to go file, import, import config. Okay. We're going to go to wherever you saved it. I saved it here. And now you're, you're going to see that I all of a sudden have MK4 settings where there were no settings before. Okay. And then what's nice is that you can just practically go down the line and look at your print settings and you'll notice some of the differences that you will see. You'll see that, let's go to, you'll see that the layer heights are different between the two. Um, you'll see the layer heights are different. Um, of course, also I'm using a different nozzle here than they probably are here. Um, but also, you might want to look at the retraction settings. Maybe you're having a hard time with your retractions from one print to another. One print is perfectly clean, no stringing. There are no weird problems with the seam. And then another print just is not, you know, having that problem and they're the same filament. Well, this might be something to look at. So you can see right here, the retraction lengths are different. So this might be something that you need to look at here. You know, um, of course, this is P there's a difference between PLA and PETG, but just something to think about and something to you see something you can use if you need to. All right. Hope that helps someone. Thanks. Have a good one.